Hey there folks, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Now, over the last year or so, I have received more messages than I could possibly count in regards to my filming equipment. You guys want to know what type of camera it is. You want to know what sort of attachments I have for it. I hear from you all the time that the quality is excellent. I certainly hope so because this camera, which you are seeing me through right now, is very expensive. So with that being said, I'm going to lay out all of the camera gear that I personally use for my adventures, and I will discuss pros, cons, talk about the cost, and so on. So you guys have asked for it, you guys shall receive it. So let's just go ahead and start with this camera right here. Okay, switched over to another camera so I can show this off. This is the Canon Vixia HFG30. This is my main camera. It shoots 1080p footage at a very high bit rate. Of course, you have this cover, which goes over the lens. You can open that up or close it to protect it. The screen folds out. It is a touch screen, pretty handy. It can support two memory cards at one time. I have a 128 gig memory card. I actually have two of those that I carry with me at all times. And of course, batteries, lots and lots of batteries, and they are expensive. Talking about expensive, this camera was easily over $1,000 when I purchased it. I want to say that I spent maybe, I don't know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 for it, something along those lines. This model has been discontinued. Canon now has the G40, and that runs roughly $1,200. On top, you can see the Dead Cat external mic. That is the Canon DM100 directional stereo microphone. That thing is very fragile and very expensive. $190 for that right there. Over the last couple of years, I have broken three of these while out filming different adventures for you all. When it comes to the tripod, as you can see here, there's nothing special about this. This is a Carson Triforce three-way. 58 inches, black, simple, but it works. What I like about this tripod is this right here. It has a handle on it. You would be surprised at how many tripods do not have a handle. I tell you what folks, when you're out filming an adventure like I am, and you're filming for 12 hours straight, you want a handle on your tripod. You know, there are better quality tripods out there, but there are so few that have good handles. Right? Maybe you can get a really nice tripod with a handle, and if that's the case, I'm not familiar with it. I've done a lot of searching, and I haven't seen any good options. So it seems to me, and of course I could be wrong, but it seems to me that it's the cheap tripods which have good handle grips like this. Uh, this thing ran, I believe, like 50 bucks, something like that. So let's go over these bags here. When I'm out filming an adventure, I usually carry two battery bags with me. This bag right here has a backup camera. This is a Panasonic HCV700M. This was discontinued a long time ago, but the quality is very good. It has very good image stabilization. Uh, when I purchased that, I believe it was like six, seven hundred dollars, something along those lines. I do have a GoPro Hero Silver. I have additional batteries for the GoPro. I have some additional batteries for the Panasonic camera. Then in this bag here, I have a lot of batteries for the Canon. And these batteries are really expensive. I wanna say that these batteries were $30 for two of them. These batteries here, two is about $70. So they are very, very expensive. I have all sorts of additional memory cards and so on. As I mentioned, I have two 128 gig memory cards. Those were very expensive. So there you go, guys. That is my camera gear. That's what I carry with me. Every single time I go out on an overnight adventure, most of the time when I come out here to Lone Wolf Mountain to film, that's what I need to produce the content that I do. As you guys can see there, it really adds up fast. Very expensive gear. But I believe the results are very good. The audio is good. The video quality is very good. And that's what I've invested in. With this camera here, I believe I have finally paid it off. It's been a number of years since I purchased this. 
And of course, I made sure to get the extended warranty. I have dropped this camera a number of times. Usually it's in like strong storms, something happens, I drop it. Uh, it wasn't too long ago that I dropped the camera, broke the mic off. Cha-ching, $200 right there. That's how it goes. Without a doubt, it's an investment in technology, but you guys are worth it. When it comes to editing, I use Final Cut Pro X on the Mac. Uh, it works very, very well. It's extremely fast at like uh, rendering and exporting. Much, much faster than say like uh, Premiere or Sony Vegas or anything like that. The speed of Final Cut Pro will blow away other editors two or three times. It doesn't matter what specs you have. You can have an incredibly specced out PC and it will still export slower than my 2013 iMac. It is just how it is. The software is extremely polished. Very optimized, right, for the hardware. Uh, let's see here, with the camera, pros and cons. Con, <laughs> extremely expensive. Another con, extremely poor audio quality, unless you have an external mic. Every time the wind blows, it will essentially cut out the audio. It overpowers the audio, so you have to have a good external mic. So you could say the audio quality sucks, that's okay. Pros, excellent, excellent video quality. There are tons of different settings on this, so you could shoot video in all sorts of different formats. That's a thumbs up. Um, let's see, with the microphone, it really works well. It does a great job of blocking out wind noise, which is a must here in the mountains because it's always windy, <laughs> right? always windy. Another con would be the cost of the batteries. Canon charges an arm and a leg for those batteries. Uh, Third-party providers, they're definitely cheaper, but still they're very expensive. A pro to that is that the size is huge. Each one of those batteries is almost 3,000 milliamps, so it's huge. It offers you a lot of recording capability. The camera comes with this tiny little Canon battery right here, and this is good for Less than an hour, I want to say. But the larger size batteries, I can get two and a half, three hours off of one of these. So I have four of those on the camera, so I can record for a long time, multi-day. With the Panasonic camera, this isn't a bad camera by any means. It's very small, it's very lightweight. The image quality is very good. The audio quality is okay. It has excellent zoom in and out. Uh, let's see. The screen on it sucks. <laughs> it's very old school technology. Uh, it's just not very good. And when it gets really cold, it operates very, very poorly, the screen. With a GoPro, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with these. This one's okay. I think the video quality is okay. The audio quality sucks, but especially inside of this case. Um, yeah, there is a new version of that out on the market. And I so rarely use that. I'm not sure if I will upgrade I'm not sure if I'm interested in upgrading. Let's see, you know, I have all these extra batteries for it. I use it for whenever rain, snow, whatever starts. Um, I am about to order a grip for the GoPro so I can attach that to my truck so I can get all the good angles when we're on a road trip. Yeah, into the back country, that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, folks, well, that's it. That's my camera gear. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me. I cannot go through and answer and address every single question on YouTube. We receive hundreds of comments and messages every single day. And it seems like every time I try to go and reply to those, they're hard to find. YouTube is real glitchy, so sometimes things are there, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you can't reply to messages because of the user settings. I don't know, it's weird. So if you have a question, shoot me an email. I will do my best about replying on YouTube, but it's unlikely. So send me an email. I will answer your question if I can. Strength and honor, folks. Take care.